Hi guys, here's Yi. We all know about Dan Dan noodle, but have you heard of another Shashuan noodle called Ran Mian? So fire noodle. Because this kind of noodle has almost no water and lots of sesame oil, you can almost light it up with fire. For this dry noodle, we will need two tablespoons of ya cai. But I couldn't find it here in Deutschland, so instead, I use the leaves of some pickled green mustard. Cut them to thin strips. We are going to stir fry them with about half tablespoon of vegetable oil. One dry chili. Break the chili with our hands roughly. Don't worry too much about the seeds here. Turn our stove to medium low heat, then saute our green mustard with a pinch of sugar. It will balance the saltiness from our pickle. Roast two tablespoons of peanuts on low heat with a bit of vegetable oil. Watch out for the peanuts at all times since they could get burned easily. For the topping, we will also need one spring onion and a cup of garlic cloves. I'm using a herb scissors for this boring task, which is super fun and fast. The scissors are great not only for herbs, but also for things like garlic, ginger, or even cheese. Now let's measure the ingredients for our noodle sauce. We will need one tablespoon of chili oil. I made this myself. The link to the recipe is on the card. Three tablespoons of light soy sauce. Three tablespoons of sesame oil. It's the key to a tasty fire noodle. One teaspoon of brown vinegar, which gives it a subtle sourness. A pinch of Sichuan pepper corn powder, if you don't have this, you could always grain your own. And a pinch of chili powder. For noodles, I'm using 250 grams of these Korean original style noodle because they are great for cold dry noodle dishes, such as jia jiang mian. Cook your noodle according to the instructions on the package. Mine takes about 5 minutes to cook. Once they are done, we can take them out, rinse the noodles on the cold running water to wash out the starch. Then add 1 tablespoon of sesame oil to prevent the noodles from sticking. Pour in our cold noodle sauce and mix it well. Take one portion of the noodle and top it with half of our green mustard and peanuts. You can crush your peanuts before serving, but I prefer the crunchiness from whole peanuts. Then sprinkle a bit of our spring onion and garlic. It has a great nuttiness from the sesame oil and a subtle spiciness from the chili oil. It's a great cold noodle dish for a hot summer. Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here, click here, click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. 谢谢大家.